have a good day. I love you. Um, a very rough morning. <laughs> As you can tell, Mason is not a morning person, so I just decided to try and act funny and <laughs> I think it became more embarrassing to him than funny, but I can't win these days, so either way. So I was just talking to my boss about um, maybe getting a Keurig. Melody had given me a gift card for Kohl's um, and since when I'm over there she makes like the best stuff I was thinking hmm maybe I would get one so he has one here in the office and it's back there I think right there and so I was asking him how he liked his and he was telling me he has one in the house and um, he's like let me go make you a cup what boss brings their employees a cup of coffee I have the best boss in the entire world. Can I just say that? Thunder. Thunder. Hi. You say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. Hi. Lightning. There she is. Hi. Thunder. And lightning. Again, these are my work dogs. These are the boss's dogs. His house is over here, and then this is the um, work. This is my work office, so those are his dogs. Look at that. spelling test. You just told me you got it. No, no, on my um, AR, AR test. Three. Look at you and I are gonna go to town. <laughs> I thought that you and I could do a craft tomorrow, to where we could make some Valentines and send them to Mima and Peepa. You could make maybe Nanny and Pop one, uh, TT and Bobby one, um, and whoever else you'd like to make one. So we can stop at like the dollar store or the 99 cent store and get a couple of things. Very excited. Yeah, that sounds very good. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Show me what you're working with. 
you get the cotton candy. And I got the mint chocolate chip. You might have to help me finish mine. Until my prescription is ready. Two of them were done, but the third one wasn't. So we're just gonna hang out, check out the store. Yeah? Clean up on aisle, aisle 15. Clean up on aisle 15. Somebody's kid is uh, in the teddy bears, not mine. So, would you like to tell everybody what happened? No. Please. No. Please. No. <laughs> Please. No. Fine. I'll tell no. them. No. <laughs> so Pepe drives the trolley or the, you know, the bus. And we saw him go by. And Mason says, I'm going to catch him. I'm like, okay. Off he goes. And I think that he would have caught Pepe if Pepe was just stopped for like maybe five more seconds. Five seconds and you'd have caught Pepe. So, sun off in the distance. Sun, please come our way. Now. While at Rite Aid, they forgot to add, put my other two prescriptions in the back. So I have to go all the way back down there, which is like a 20 minute drive to go get them. Which I'm not happy about. I was upset that I'm having to drive all the way back down to town. The good part is that the doctor, the pediatrician actually refilled Mason's inhaler, which he's been out of for like two days. And since it's a three day weekend, um, thank goodness they called to refill it today. So I'm very happy that um, I'll be able to pick up his inhaler when I pick up my two medicines that they forgot. So that is a big, big positive that is coming out of me having to drive all the way back down to town. So with the negative, there is a very big positive. You guys see that rainbow? Is that pretty or what? into the house and daddy has been making dinner which is amazing so tacos looks like we've got flour tortillas tonight we've got the taco meat over here we've got tomatoes and my favorite Colby cheese and I'm going to have to get my sour cream because I like that on my tacos. And that's dinner for tonight. Taco Friday. Ha! <laughs> Like it. I love you. The teachings of Michael Brandon Mink for the kerosene heater.
share, please do a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit the red button below. below. And if you're new to the channel, put it in the comments. Let us know. Down below. We want to know. Let us know. If you we'll see you all. Ow. Really, I tomorrow.